Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting and layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm printmaking on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So stay tuned. Hello, I want to thank you all for sticking with me. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any video and posted anything to you other than that quick little short that I posted a few weeks back. I know I was posting about twice a week before and I had some pretty good content going, but I ended up having some health issues and so uh, I'm going to have to have some surgery next month and so I'll I'll be absent a little a little while longer but I did want to kind of give you an explanation and uh, thank y'all for sticking with me especially all you new subscribers here we go It's been so long since I recorded this, I hope I can remember what I was doing. You see me holding up that yellow mylar stencil and some collage paper that I printed on. And what I'm doing is actually using my stencil like a template and uh, penciling around the stencil on my collage paper and that's how I, I'm forming some of the shapes that I'm going to collage onto the print so that there's some continuity in the shape. Some of these pieces of paper are also my copy paper that I have offloaded my brayer, uh, the extra paint from my brayer. So that one larger piece that's there, the red, orange, the teal, um, that's laying under those collage pieces is one of one of those also and so is the black actually so let's just look at this and you're gonna see me using some I think it's just matte medium I'm used that I'm using for my glue that's pretty much what I use for doing my collage work And really what I'm doing there in positioning is I'm really looking at the shapes of the just following some line and trying to have some things line up as I'm making the placement. We'll go through this fairly quickly but you'll see me um, you'll I'll be painting on this print this is just the first step. Um, I've made the print, now I'm laying the, the collage elements, and then now I'm going to begin adding paint. Thank you. 
Okay, now we're going to add some more paint. You know my fondness for circles, and you know I have a few favorite tools that I use for uh, printing circle shapes on, on my print. And um, so we'll just continue with those. One of them is the insert from the big box store in the bakery with their um, oh cupcakes or brownie bites or whatever you want to see that shape there. I'm just kind of showing you where I'm thinking about placement. But I'm going to come in with the um, a light. It's not tight and buff or and it's not really white. I think it might be the Naples Yellow Light um, mixed with a little bit of an off-white. I have my bib there for protecting the edge of my paper so that as I'm painting I don't get anything on it. And I don't really know why I'm using it other than practicing with it because I do end up cutting this uh, and mounting it to a a cradle board like I showed you in a previous video um, but anyway uh, we'll just see how this goes and you'll watch right along with me you can see that I've already started painting on the surface and tried to pull out some contrasts um, in the oh like that reddish uh, I think that's a pyroly red. I'm not sure if I'm saying that color name correctly, but uh, also I started glazing with some quinacridone uh, nickel azel gold. And over the top of the teal color, it looks a little bit dirty, but that's okay because I really wanted to pull that color out um, and, and start um, giving the prints of color harmony. Uh, later on I think I want to add some lighter values of the teal also, but you'll see as we go along. I've also used some of the stencil shapes and stencil some uh, accent colors, just trying to bring some continuity and move the color move the eye around with color around the around the design of the print you can also tell from this uh, this video that I did change the orientation uh, so that I could work on it upside down excuse me for yawning I'm so sorry But here I am pressing some circle shapes onto the print. And I, I may end up doing this a couple times because I'm not really sure if I get enough there. But um, I do want it to be fairly opaque there. I think I had some extra paint left on that piece of plastic and you'll see I don't know if you remember from one of my previous videos where I showed you about my epic failure <laughs> where I, I mounted a print to the cradle board and um, I thought I could just it ended up being a very subtle print but what I this one right here I, I started um, adding some collage elements and I took the extra paint and made those circle shapes on that and this is my tool for when I when I ordered from Amazon the the glue sticks this was uh, part of the packaging and that I saved 
and I use it for my small my smaller circles. And I'm, I wanted a lighter color here, and I'm really wanting a lighter value of that goldish brown color. That little noise that you hear is my kitty cat climbing on my printer. Walking, walking on my printer. There it goes again. Be careful, Paco. Now here's a close-up view for you to see colors and textures a little bit closer up so and then I'm going to show you a second print uh, uh, you probably recognize this one too uh, I started working on it uh, this will be saved for another video, but I've been working on this one. This one has some collage elements added also. So we're just layering these up a little bit at a time. Okay, here you're going to see me begin to do some glazing. And uh, I use glazing for changing uh, maybe a hue or knocking something back, toning something down, uh, increasing the opacity. Uh, I, I use glazing for a lot of different reasons and, and several different ways. The key for me is a product that Golden makes called um, Satin Glazing Medium or Liquid or something. Anyway, it's, it's a wonderful product and um, I just put a little dab on my palette next to my paint and, and dab back and forth between paint and and glazing uh, liquid and then I just go to the paper surface with it or the canvas 
but it, it changes tonal quality and um, you're going to see me um, add uh, some warmth in some areas and what I'm going to tone down some of the lighter uh, strips that form curves in the print and what I want to do is I want in toning that back I want the the lighter colors the, to become lighter and crisper lighter I want them to be more noticeable and I think you'll see that as I do this uh, you'll see that it does work And this is just one of those steps that it takes time and um, but it's so worth it you can you can use saturated color you can desaturate a color uh, gray something down push something back and you'll you'll notice that as I go through here with I think what I'm using is yellow ochre. But this whole glazing process is just a process of adjustment deciding what it is you want in the design in the composition to come forward what to push back where you want to enhance movement or enhance a color There's the Satin Glazing Liquid by Golden. I 
I think I'm showing you what I'm wanting to push back and what I'm wanting to bring forward. Really wanting that movement working from the, the bottom right, working upward and pushing that middle left back.
Okay, now you're going to see me add some darker value with the circle shapes. I'm, I'm feeling like I have a lot of mid-tone and some, and some lighter values, but I, I need to increase the darker value. So I'm going to start bouncing some darker color around in my shapes. As we come to the end of the filming of this particular uh, portion of the video, I just want to say that this print is nowhere near finished. And, uh, but I do have an image of how it, how it looks right now as it's mounted to my credo board. And I'm, I'm still letting it cook. It's not too far off. I think it needs some mark making, some line work, and uh, still needs some value adjustment. And uh, this particular segment of the video does not show you some of those adjustments. But I thank you for sticking with me and uh, going with me this far. Y'all keep painting, keep printing, keep rolling, as Fulton says. And thank y'all all for uh, your kind messages to me, that you missed me.